The first reading is a reading from the book of Exodus. Moses, hearing the voice of the Lord from the burning bush, said to him, When I go to the children of Israel and say to them, The God of your fathers has sent me to you. If they ask me what is his name, what am I to tell them? God replied, I am. Who am? Then he added, This is what you shall tell the children of Israel. I am sent me to you. God spoke further to Moses, thus shall you say to the children of Israel, the Lord, the God of our ancestors, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob has sent me to you. This is my name forever. This is my title for all generations. Go and assemble the elders of Israel and tell them the Lord, the God of your ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob has appeared to me and said, I am concerned about you and about the way you've being treated in Egypt. So I have decided to lead you out of the land of misery in Egypt into the land of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Pezzarites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites, a land flowing with milk and honey. Thus they will heed your message. Then you go and you tell the elders that God has said, the Lord, the God of Hebrews has sent this word. Tell the king of it, Egypt, permit us then to go three days' journey into the desert that we may offer sacrifice to the Lord our God. Yet I know that the king of Egypt will not allow you to go unless he is forced. I will stretch out my hand, therefore, and smite Israel and Egypt by doing all kinds of wondrous deeds there. After that, he will let you go. The word of the Lord. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Give thanks to the Lord, invoke his name, make known his, among the nations his deeds, recall the wondrous deeds that he has wrought, his portents and his judgments that he has uttered. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made, binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham and his oath to Isaac. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He sent Moses, his servant, Aaron, whom he had chosen. They wrought his signs among them and wonders in the land of Ham. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened. I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. My yoke is easy, my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is summer, as we know, and we're often told during the summer, take some time off, take a vacation, relax. Uh, some people go away. I just came back from a few weeks away. Uh, some people go on extended retreats. Some of our priests do that. Um, and some people go with the family down the shore or the mountains and lakes and so on and so forth. Um, but wherever we go, the idea of it is to regenerate ourselves and to relax. We as Christians have that invitation from Jesus, but also from God, our creator, to go take care of ourselves, come back replenished. Today we have two examples of the scriptures where God, while we are away, will take care of us. The great story of Exodus, when Moses is told by God to go free his people, and he says, who am I going to tell sent me? I am. I am, is, being, Yahweh, God. The creator has no name, and he promises to be with the people of Israel, 
and protect them even in light of the punishments that will come down upon them for leaving from the king of Israel, the Pharaoh. So God assures Moses, tell the people I'm with them, okay? I am is with you. When we say our prayers during mass, we address them always to God the Father. But when we're praying to God, we pray in the plural, but also singular, because God is Father, Son, and Spirit. So sometimes the grammar doesn't work in our ears. We say God, and then we use it as a plural word, and you'll hear that if you observe into it. But that's our, our mystery, and that's our relationship with God. He's multiple persons, one God, Father, Son, and Spirit. That's who we are invited to take with us on vacation. God, the whole church? No. The faith we have in God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Jesus tells us today, I understand you're burdened and laboring and all that good stuff. I understand you have hardships. Whoever he's talking to, he's talking to the people of Israel at that point. But use me as an example. Of course, the burden I place on you is light. <clears throat> The, the word he's using is yoke. A yoke is a big wooden thing that, that lays on the backs of the oxen as they plow through the fields. And it's very heavy. I've seen some of them on museum walls or historical sites. And they're big, heavy things. So, so people hear that. You, you're going to put a yoke on it? Yeah, because my yoke is light. My weight on your shoulders is light. Because my weight is love, is care, is prayer. It's things that take you out of the ordinary daily grind that we're all involved in. And withdrawing to a restful place. Now, the restful place could be in the mountains, the shore, the, or your backyard, or your bedroom. You see, some of us are going to be able to get away, literally, out of the city but not everyone. So it's not appropriate to say, go on vacation and enjoy yourself, send the bill to God. That ain't happening. Be on vacation, take time to rest, all of us who labor and have any, any involvement, whether we have full-time job, whether we're caretakers, whether we have no special burden, but just ordinary grind of life. Jesus wants to be with us. So, Pull back, he's inviting us to, to take it easy for a while. That doesn't give up responsibility. We keep the yoke on our shoulders, the yoke of love and prayer and service. But we're pulling away from the daily grind. Because sometimes when we're involved in the daily status and the daily schedule that we all have, um, we get overwhelmed and God goes in the background. So it's summer. Go outside, enjoy the weather, look at the water, go to your homes, take a quiet room, sit down, and just be with God. Nice deep breath, and bring the Spirit of God in you. And use your own mantra, your own phrase that you are comfortable with. Jesus be with me, your will be done, Mother of God be with me. But anything that just can put us in a state of mind of prayer and rest. Because then we're resting our bodies, our souls, and our minds. And then wash your face and go back to life as it is. Some people will have a, an extended period of rest down the shore or mountains. Good. Some of us will have an hour. Good. Make the, make the most of it. Knowing always that he calls us to come to him, all of us, and he will give us rest put ourselves in the presence of God, fill ourselves with the Holy Spirit, and take his yoke upon our shoulders, the yoke of prayer, the yoke of patience, the yoke of kindness, and then be at peace.